by that is you're gonna need some dumbbells out there. Um, the blocks, technically there's 10, really there's like five. So the way to think about these first four is that we do one exercise for one minute, take a quick little break to grab whatever we need, and then we go into four rounds of 30 seconds of the two exercises back to back. So that's gonna be five minute total blocks. Um, and again, we got four of those, and then we go into something else. So for this very first block, what that looks like is do one minute of bare steps, meaning that you want your hips over those knees, shoulders over wrists, we take it up to those toes, off hand, opposite foot, tap forward, back to neutral, tap forward, back to neutral. We're gonna do that for that full minute, that option again. Staying on those knees, giving you that baby crawl instead, focusing on again that tight core. From there, we take that quick little break, grab onto our dumbbells, set ourselves up, and the two exercises we're going back to back on, we hold that bridge for that seven bridge fly, drive it up, nice, slow, pin fall down, legs on the press, into some squats, where we hold those weights in front of us, sit those hips down and back, and drive it up. And we have those two exercises on the 30 back to back for four rounds. So let's go ahead and start with that one minute bear step. As soon as I find out where my mouse went, there it is. Okay, we got that bear step in three, two, one. Going to that bear step. Opposite hand, opposite foot forward, back to that neutral, keeping that core tight. Good crew. And this is good for shoulder and hip mobility. So you want to make sure those shoulders and hips stay in alignment. Nice flat spine. Always return to knees at 90. We're 30 down. 30 to go. Grabbing those weights, moving over to where we're working out. Next combo, we got that chest press for 30 into those front squats for 30 for four times through. Let's get ready for that chest press in three, two, one. Driving those hips up. We exhale, press it up. Nice little control down. Tap those elbows and drive. Wherever you want those weights, in line with that chest, squeezing at the top. Looking good, crew. We're gonna pop it up to those squats in three, two, one. Pop it up, on those weights in front. Hips go down back to those squats. Drive up and squeeze at the top. Then those knees stay out. We're here for that 30 seconds. Looking good, crew. We're going to take it back to that bridge, chest press, for round two of four, in three, two, one, bridge, chest press, next little control down. Looking solid through. Get to stay up, got about 10 seconds to those squats. In three, two, one, going into those front squats. Sit it down, drive it up. Lift it solid. We got two more rounds. 10 seconds of that bridge press. In three, two, one. Bridge chest press. Drive up, control down. You can focus on squeezing that chest on the way up. The 
Let's get ready for those squats. In three, two, one. Let's squat it. Taking it down, driving it up. Here too. We got just 10 seconds. Going into our final minute of work before that break. In three, two, one, chest press. Here we go. Looking solid. side for now. So the second round of exercises, we start for the one minute down in that plank position. we be on toes or on knees. We're doing those plank shoulder taps, tapping that opposite shoulder. And that goal is for your hips to stay square to the ground and not turn around side to side. We'll take that super quick little break to grab on those weights. Then we stand up and we start off with 30 seconds of deadlifts. Shoulder blades pinched down and back. Hinge back in those hips. Turn the tension butt back and legs. Get as low as we can and drive it up. Remember, if you get so low that you start to round, you're going too low. We want to save that low back so they hang. And then we turn those palms out. Sit in that hinge. 30 seconds. Reverse grip, low row. Tension those shoulder blades together at the top. Nice low to fall down. So the crew, without further ado, let's get ready for that plank. Shoulder tap in three, two, and one. Plank shoulder tap. Do not let those hips sway on you. Nice and easy butt cheeks. Control those hands. You're looking good here. We got 30 down. 30 to go. Down, 15 to go. 
Sitting back about 60% in that squat. Exhale to explode it up overhead. Walk those shoulders down back. Nice gentle control down and explode with that exhale. Begin squeezing that core to engage that, um, to protect that low back. From there, when we take it to the ground, this is a new one for you. We're in a side plank. You can be on the knee or on that heel. And we're gonna go into that reverse fly. So you pull that weight starting in from that chest, open it up. Nice, slow, control it right back in front of that chest. We'll do 30 right, 30 left for four rounds. If that's a little much for you, you can always come in this thoracic position. And give me that thoracic fly. 30 on the right, 30 on the left for four rounds. So we can listen to your body when it comes to that. Screw, let's go ahead and get ready with those thrusters. On the minute, in three, two, and one. Let's thrust, sit back in those hips. Exhale, explode it up, control down. Looking good, crew. Squeeze the top with that lockout. Nice and slow down. Start up to about 25 seconds to go. Turns up. 
coming right from that chest, the breath back up. Shoulder blades are pinched together at this position. Try to find that control down. Drive up. As always, you can ditch the weight and just practice the movement. So we switch sides in three, two, one. Switch sides. 30 seconds here. Core engaged, hip side butt tight as you're moving that arm with control on the way down, squeezing the shoulder blades on the way up. We go into round two in three, two, one. Going back to that right side. Looking good, crew. In three, two, one, switch inside. Squeeze another shoulder blade. Looking good. Drive it up, control it on down. 
keeping that going. And yep, that happened. Okay. Looking solid crew. We switch sides in two and one. Switch inside. Looking good. Cover last ten. And three, two, one. Take that quick little break. Find those weights you need for the crunches. And we're gonna be taking up four rounds, 30-30. Starting with that double crunch in three, two, one, and let's start moving. Weights overhead, drive up, elbows to knees, extend it back out, squeezing that core as we go. Looking good. Let's take it up to that power sit up in three, two, one. Explode up, lock it back. Nice slow control down. In just 30 seconds here. That option, hold that weight in front of that chest. Here for that double crunch in three, two, one. Double crunch, drive it up and extend it out. Looking good. Drive and squeeze. Control now. Get ready, power sit up in three, two, one, drive up, cross it back, and pull it down. Again, that goal for this round, feel that belly button that slide, like we're working that core. Double crunch in three, two, one. Double crunch in and extend out. Looking good. We got about ten seconds to go. Go ahead and take it to that power sit up in three, two, one. Explode up, control down. We've got 15 seconds to go. Then we get to that final round of this combo. Break is in three, 
two, one, and those legs to the side for now. So your next block, we're gonna do all those one minute exercises back to back. So we got one minute bear steps into one minute thrusters, into one minute of tight shoulder taps, into one minute of that split press, 30 on each side. And then we'll go into that final block. So let's go ahead and shake it out, get ready for that bear step. We got about 10 seconds till we take it up. In three, two, one, bear step, one minute on the clock. Again, squeezing that core, off hand, off leg forward, and back to that neutral. Trying to keep shoulders over wrists, knees at 90, and we get back. Looking good, 30 down, 30 to go. Just 15. And let's get ready for those thrusters. In three, two, one, going into that thruster, take those weights out, over by those shoulders, sit down, explode it on up, keeping that core tight. Then drive it up, and pull it down. We got 30 to go. Exercises, 45 seconds per, two times through. We start with that animal squat, so you're in that hand position, shoulders over wrists, sit those hips straight back, coming all the way straight forward. Again, if you need to, you can always do body weight squats. We then stand it up, we go to butt kickers, we can drive those heels up to those hips, or run it out, again, finding that variation right for you. 
then lateral jump burpee from that stand. Plant those hands on the ground, step or kick back to that plank. When we hop it up, we jump it to the side. Again, when you take it up, you can always give me a step to the side if the jump is too much. So again, we got 45 seconds for exercise, two times through. Let's check it out, get it ready. Starting with animal squats in three, two, and one. Animal squat, to the back, drive forward. Just three, two, one, and that is a wrap. 